Hello farmers, welcome back to our organic poultry farming YouTube channel. As I was answering your questions in the comment sections of our videos, I came across one question and that is, what are the organic treats that we can use so that we can be able to treat infectious coriza in our chickens? And that is why in today's video, I'm going to tell you what you should know about identifying infectious coriza in your chickens and also i'm going to give you the organic treat that you are going to use so that you can be able to eliminate this devastating disease from your chickens infectious coriza is a bacterial disease of chickens affecting the upper respiratory system it is very common and causes suffering to the chicken decreased productivity poor growth performance and even death in this video i'll give you an easy step-by-step -step method of preparing uh, an organic treat to help in treating the infectious coriza. I will also give you uh, the exact amounts of the organic treat to add into the water of the chickens. Therefore, make sure that you stick in with me through the video so that you can be able to get the full information. I will also give you some common signs and symptoms of the of this devastating this disease that will help you to identify it at an early stage so that you can use this organic treat before the disease becomes severe. If you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that uh, subscribe button and also hit uh, the bell notification so that you will be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, if you get value in this video, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button. In the comment section below, please let me know if you have ever experienced infectious coriza in your, in your farm and what are some of the organic treats uh, that you used to eliminate the disease from your chicken. Infectious coriza is caused by a bacteria called Avibacterium paragallinarum. This uh, lethal bacteria usually enters in, into the chicken through the nasal mucosa and this, this, this bacteria is transmitted through two major ways. Number one is through direct contact. And this is when, uh, if one chicken have this uh, infectious coriza, it can be able to pass, it, uh, the bacteria can be able to move from one chicken to another uh, through aerosols or through the air. So infectious coriza is an airborne disease. Also, it can be transmitted through contaminated feeds and water. You know, when one chicken uh, goes to eat the feed or drinks the water, this bacteria can be, be deposited in the feed and water. And when another bird drinks that water, it becomes sick. And now, how are you going to know that it is infectious coriza that is affecting your, your chicken? So here are the common early signs of infectious coriza. Number one is that it's depression. Uh, you will see that your, your chickens are dull, they become dull. And also their eyes, they are, their eyes are half open or they are closed completely. Uh, another thing is that uh, the chicken usually have a nasal discharge uh, or the runny nose. And another major sign is, uh, in the early stages is that the birds uh, will have slight facial swelling, especially around the eyes. When you see these signs, this is the best time to administer the organic treat that I am about to give you because if the disease progresses, it becomes hard for the organic treat to eliminate the disease. And the severe signs or and symptoms of infectious coriza in chickens include number one, there is a swelling around the eyes. Um, another thing is there, is there will be also the nasal discharge that is the runny nose another thing is that there so there will be swollen waters there will be diarrhea difficulties in breathing there will be anorexia or the refusal of feeds this is where the chickens uh, are not eating another thing is there is there will be decreased decrease in the weight uh, and emaciation this is because also the chickens are not eating and another thing is decreased egg production and now that I have given you some signs that you can look out for so that you can be able to know that your chickens uh, are, contract, are contracting infectious coriza, now let us get into how to treat infectious coriza organically. Before we discuss how to prepare this organic treat, 
for prevention purposes please make sure that you you carry out the normal you know biosecurity measures for example make sure that you maintain hygiene in your farm make sure that you are changing the litter so that you avoid accumulation of these bacteria in the littering material also make sure that you disinfect and disinfection comes for example when you sell off all the birds or the flock make sure that you disinfect the chicken coop and leave it to stay for three weeks before you bring it you bring in another flock and this helps to eliminate all the diseases or all the pathogens that were there in the previous flock and the disclaimer that i'm going to give is that the organic uh, the organic treat that i'm going to give you today does not work in severely affected chicken if the disease is widespread and have has reached severe stages can recall a vet for effective diagnosis and treatment now let's get into preparing the organic treat first you need garlic ginger lemon and honey this garlic and ginger will be mixed in a ratio of 1 is to 4 that is if for example you have 250 grams of garlic then you are going to use um, 1 kg of ginger note that in this ratio of 1 is to 4 garlic is the is the lower amount is in lower amounts and ginger is in more amount after measuring all uh, the weight of garlic and ginger in the ratio of 1 is to 4 wash them properly uh, and cut them into small pieces for easier blending then you are going to put these pieces into the blender and add some water for easier blending uh, for the lemon you are just going to take an, a lemon you cut it into two then you are going to press it so that you can get the the juice extract uh, from the lemon now that you have got a blended mixture of garlic and ginger in a ratio of one is to four what amount of it uh, plus the lemon juice and the uh, and the honey are you going to add into the chicken drinking water the amount that you are going to add into the water is you are going you are going to add 150 ml of the ginger and garlic mixture into each liter of drinking water then you are going to add 30 ml of lemon uh, plus 30 ml of honey into each liter of the chicken drinking water therefore in each liter of chicken drinking water you are going to have uh, 150 ml of the mixture of ginger and garlic also you are going to have in it uh, 30 ml of lemon and 30 ml of honey if you need any explanation about the treatment or any clarification feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below i'll be glad to answer all your questions make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how molasses and the lemon mixture will help to boost weight gain in your broiler chicken